Uh, my name is Sheila Finch. Uh, I've been employee here at the Bologna branch since 1998. Uh, the branch was here probably the year before that. I think it was built in 97. And uh, I started out as a temp in 98 and then became, then did part-time and then became branch manager in 2001, summer of 2001. And I've been here ever since. Summer we have, and then when we first started, I might have a few crafts. Uh, June and July are our summer reading programs. We did, a, you know, maybe every other week. We might have had a presenter. We got, um, we did something at the fire department one year. We had the canine police unit out. Anything we could get for free. Uh, and so as our budgets have grown and our community has grown, now we pay people to come. And uh, every single week is a craft. Mm -hmm. Almost every single week is a, some sort of presenter for those two months. So it has really grown. Um, we're gonna have a big summer uh, reading program for the kids. And so to keep them reading during the summer so they don't get behind when school starts and we'll have a bookmark and they'll have a punch on it. And for mm -hmm. every 10, well, for every book that they turn in, we'll punch. And then for every 10 books that they read we have a treasure box with little stuff in it and they can dig in there and get something out and if they see something else that they want they know they gotta do some more reading to get back in that treasure box and it really worked well uh, we would do it last year but COVID hit we didn't do anything and so the year before it was a big success so we're doing that again we're going to do it again for the young adults and then the adults and try to give a they don't get in the treasure box but they get a uh, a prize uh, a drawing at the end of the month and we'll have two bigger things or whatever an incentive keep adults reading they need to read too and speaking of reading like we have besides books we have dvds we have audios um everything's electronic nowadays so you can do uh ebooks and e audiobooks you can learn a new language we have mango languages this is all free with your library card you don't have to pay for some of those other <laughs> services that you have to pay for. Um, Audible, you know, that's expensive. Amazon's Audible. You can get almost everything you want, almost, um, as an audio through with your library card. I don't see the library going away. A lot of people thought, you know, with electronic books and stuff, that what's the need of the library? You'd be surprised at how many people walk through that door that don't even need a book. <laughs> they need something else, and that's what we provide. You know, just visiting the library is a great support. Um, we turn in our numbers, so we're always making little hash marks for every person who comes in, every reference questions asked, every computer use. So just anybody coming in helps our numbers. Um, the more people you have, you know, the more need there is, the more money that the state might give. Uh, we have beautiful landscape outside. That's all done by the master gardeners, which again is volunteered time. Um, to do all of that. So I'd like to take credit for uh, the beautiful on the outside, but I only get the credit on the inside. <laughs> that God's in control. Um, and it doesn't matter what war we're going through or who's president or what sickness might come our way. Uh, as a breast cancer survivor, five years now, uh, when I was first diagnosed, my daughter was pretty upset about it. And I never really thought, why me? Because it's like, why not me? I'm nobody special. Um, and if I should die of that disease, uh, I'm okay with that. Um, heaven is going to be so much better than here. Um, and it didn't bother me. It really didn't. Um, I did all my chemo. I lost my hair. I did all that. Or big hats. A lot of people remember the big hats. Um, and I came to work uh, every day. Um, I didn't always feel good, but I stayed motivated. I walked, I moved, uh, coming to work and being here with the, the people here, uh, was a help to me. There were so many people in the community that would come and give their support or I'm praying for you or, uh, just a, a card or just anything saying, you know, you can do this or whatever. It was such uplifting, but I got through it. My oncologist was amazed at how 
well I did with the treatments and how I overcame. And I'm, I give that credit to people praying for me um, and then the support that I had in the community. Um, and my friends, you know, there was family and um, I just made it through it. And uh, that's, that's another big part of why I like Bologna. <laughs> I'm not saying I wouldn't have that help somewhere else, but uh, I, I do believe God wants me here for something. Mm -hmm. Couldn't tell you what it is, but I'm not worried about what tomorrow holds because I know who holds tomorrow. Well, thank you, Sheila, so much for sharing about the Bologna Public Library. This is my first time in the building. Wow, and you've been here. Well, we were kind of closed a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so I actually met you all in the parking lot one time to get a book. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come from okay. the Conway yeah. Public Library. But I'm grateful for you taking time to share about the library. Mm -hmm. If you, I've lived in Faulkner County for a few years before I got a library card, and I was wrong to wait that long. Right. Because having... Um, ebooks like she talked about just coming straight to my Kindle has been one of the joys especially during COVID when I was able to read a lot more so if you've been thinking about getting a library card or it hasn't even crossed your mind and you're in Faulkner County I encourage you to do that it will open up so many opportunities for you from paperback books to ebooks to audiobooks like Sheila's mentioned and then so many other things this library is not just a place to come and get books, but a place for community support. And they care so much for people of all ages and all kinds of needs people might have. So I encourage you to stop by.